The paper is about um, silicon nanowire solar cells. The nanowires we were using in 2008 when the paper was published were so-called VLS nanowires um, grown by the vapor liquid solid mechanism. It's a gross mechanism where you essentially use metal catalyst to catalyze the one-dimensional nanowire growth. Um, these nanowires um, integrated in the cell concept led to, by that time, lousy efficiencies of below 1%, but at least it was an efficiency compared to many other papers that didn't show an efficiency by then. So that's why it serves as a reference till today. Nanowires are inherently absorbing light, so it's a light trapping structure. And if you optimize dimensions, yeah, you can really um, tune the broadband absorption yeah, of visible light um, where, the, where the solar spectrum um, is most efficient. Yeah? So um, it gives a means of improving uh, or enhancing the absorption. So nanowires of a few micron thickness um, absorb over way over 80%, whereas their 2D counterparts, which means like layers of the same few micron thickness, um, only absorb 30-40% depending on uh, the detail thickness. So it's a great improvement in absorption and that's why those wires are good building blocks in solar cells. Nowadays it serves as a bad reference essentially because um, by that time we had an efficiency, um, but that was lousy, below 1%. The field, as much as uh, we in our group, have moved, moved um, ever since. And nowadays, efficiencies are much better. We have 12 30%, and we think that we can even get higher than that, up to 20%, with a silicon nanowire-based material. You have to tune the diameters, the geometries, the pitch of nanowires, yeah, the accuracy of processing, um, that's one thing. And then also you have to reduce um, the surface area as much as, much as possible because um, surfaces are prone to um, carrier recombination, which are then lost for solar cell uh, or photocurrent for solar cell efficiency. So that's why um, we improved on that and this required a lot of electrical and optical characterization um, in order to improve and optimize the material. And for that we have big labs uh, working on um, electron microscopies as well as spectroscopies uh, um, with add-ons like electron backscatter diffraction where we can learn about um, defect population with electron beam induced current where we, where we can learn about proper doping of the material and uh, where the current resides, where junctions reside, all building blocks in solar cells. So we had to also improve our techniques uh, to characterize those materials at the micro and nano scale. This has already required a lot of re research since 2008 and the progress was remarkable. The wires from that time, VLS wires, have now been replaced not only by us in our group but also by other groups by etched wires essentially because the metal in the wires in the VLS growth yeah, poison the semiconductor material and so it is now widely accepted that these materials are not suitable for wires but still the concept was that one dimensional structures um, to enhance light absorption in those materials this is still valid and has still to be improved, optimized, but this is still a good concept for solar cells. So that's why we're still in the business, still in the field, and, um, and um, further optimize our solar cells with nanowires. I'm from Germany. I studied material science at the University of Erlangen Nürnberg. Um, um, there I also carried out a habilitation. Um, it was all in semiconductor science and technology. After that, um, I spent some years in the United States at Columbia University um, working on thin film transistor research for displays um, and at the TJ Watson Research Center of IBM in Yorktown Heights, New York, um, where I worked on um, the straight silicon SOI technology. 
I did some postdocing in Germany as well at the Max Planck Institute for Microstructure Physics in Halle and the Institute of Photonic Technology in Vienna. I'm uh, currently working at uh, the Helmholtz Center for Materials and Energy in Berlin, leading there a department uh, for nanoarchitectures for energy research. Um, I do this in a uh, joint collaboration with the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Light in Erlang. <coughs> we have um, a group um, dealing with photonic nanostructures. 